All right, guys, welcome back. We talked to the players. We figured it out. So complexity, when the game, when at least miracles lagged out of the game, they had 50 points. Curse had 30. So if complexity get to 200 points, they will take the map. If curse get to 220, they will win the map. So we're gonna start off with the exact same point value as we left off with. So Mr. X. Go ahead, start this one up. We're just waiting on Miracles to switch over, yeah. actually. He's just hanging out in Codcaster. But that's what we're going to do. Both teams agreed on it. So I, I think it's fair. What about you? Yeah, I think that's the, the best way to do it, you know? So Mr. X is just talking to this team right now, make sure that they understand completely what's going on. But if you just missed it, Complexity, they need to get 200. First, they need to get 220. So starting off with around a, a 50 to 30 point value. Well, anyways, Complexity, they have a 20 They're point lead. They're saying just start it up, so. All right, let's go. Well, give Miracles a warning start. But if you're just joining us now, Curse, they are one map away from knocking Complexity off the Pro Scrim throne. They lead the series four to two. And if you missed any of the previous maps, head over to youtube.com slash official MLG COD. You can catch all the previous maps there. We upload it just about right when the map is done. Yeah, it's pretty good, pretty fast. All right, so Raid Hardpoint could be our last map here, so. We're gonna start back on the middle hard point, and who do who do you want to watch from your team? Uh, I want to watch Crim Six right off the start. Okay. Yeah, you know, he's gonna play extremely aggressive on this first hill, and just well, nobody from Curse is spawning in. Nobody from Curse one in. Okay, no. so evidently nobody's ready. Hard point identified. All right, they're all in the game. Miracles was on the team. He was switching to Codcast. He switched back to the team. Back to Codcast. So, not sure what's going on there, but I mean, everyone's here, and I guess they just didn't spawn in. Yeah, I guess I he, mean didn't switch teams, didn't spawn in, so who knows what's going on? I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know. But yeah, okay. So Marcos, he's still in the game. He didn't lag out again. He's just hanging out over near Codcaster. But okay, he just switched over. It looks like they're good to go. Mr. X, start this one back up. So we're gonna kick things off with Crim Six from Complexity. But as we've been saying, their backs are against the wall here. I mean. Obviously, 500 pro points, it's a good amount, especially when you add them up for your team. That's 2,000. Yeah, it's a lot of pro points. Yeah, that's good. And especially with the full cell invitational coming up, you need every pro point you could get if you want to try to get invited to the event. But the 5,000 point tournament this Saturday, I believe Saturday, that is, yeah. that's going to be your last chance to earn pro points for the event. They're going to lock in after that day and you won't be able to earn any more. So that 5,000 series, it's pretty Our darn important. Identified. And now we're starting off with Krimi. You know, he's going to push straight into this hard point. We're winning this you know, fight. Now, gonna, there's point a guy in the middle, because that's usually where uh, Pat goes. And huge two-piece grenade right there. Yes, Aix takes out Miracles and Twiz. It's going to be closer inside the hard point. Or he has a head start to some of his streaks on a two kill streak. But now he's searching around for some kills around near Art. Aix is going to help him out with that kill on the Twiz. But... So far, it's been all complex at the start of this middle hard point. Keep in mind, right now they have a total of 70 points. Right, and you know, to hard point they flip the spawns naturally right there, and it's just that's the way you have to play that hard point, especially from driveway side. They picked up about an even amount of time on the hard point. You know, I mean, it was free for a while and then contested for a little bit, so they'll end up about equal in time. But they flip the spawns organically right there, and that's what you want to do. And now it's going to be Curse battling back. Complex is taken out inside the hard point, but Blindfire's already set up for the next one near the kitchen here. Finds one, there goes Crim6, but you got TP. He's going to fight through the front while Clayson is going to try rotating through the full side of the map. Blindfire is going to hop out, and now they know where Clayson is. Complex staying alive inside the hard point. He has his teammate Miracles looking out towards the full side, but here comes Crim, and T takes up the kill onto Complex. Miracles spawning uh, decent far away over near the laundry. Yeah, you know, right now, uh, Complexity doesn't have to play too aggressive, you know, defending that hill. They know they're still spawning in the back, so they can just keep letting them flood through that door and just watching from poolside this jump up. Plus, they have around a 60-point lead to work with, so that's a full hard point that Curse has to lock down to tie this game up. But with 27 seconds, it still looks like Complexity, they want to fight for his time. Complex, he's going to begin the rotation to his team. You know, we've seen teams come back if they lock down the garage hard points. So definitely one of the key ones you want to hold if you want to get points in the game. Oh, absolutely. No, garage is the most important hard point on this map, along with basketball. And you'll see teams, they rotate extremely early. And that's how you want to play this map. You want to really get the chunkier time on garage and basketball. Okay, so it's going to be Blind Fire pushing through the pool building. Now, this is very important, especially as an anchor player. That's going to block off spawns for the enemy team, as well as getting your team to more favorable spawns. So, Clayster, he's able to rotate over here in time 
was able to take out Blind Fire, but Twist is still around the air. They're going to meet up here. Smart plays from Quaser. He's going to be able to pick up that kill. As you saw the kill feed, every member from Complex was able to pick up kills. It's going to be Curse trying to rotate through the gym side of the map. Crimson has other plans, so it's going to be Twist fighting through the blue car. Just got a glimpse of one player. Stun goes actually MP. Does uh, disorient them for a bit, but Complexity, they've gotten a lot of time so far off this hard point. You know, a Curse is going to have to really push this together if they really want any chance of, you know, really getting a good break. And you see Teep all on the hill picking up two huge kills, and now he's just going to really contest against Complex. Yes, yeah, so Teep is limiting the amount of points his team could, well, the other team could get on this hard point. They pushed three guys into the hard point, and Teep picked up two of them, and now Complex is just sitting up over near the van, and, you know, we know that complexity, they have the lead overall. They're up 125 to around 580. Hard so that's a pretty significant lead. Yeah, and, uh, you know, this is going to be huge right here. These rotational kills going from garage to basketball or how they're going to break this basketball setup is really going to determine really the outcome of this game. All right, so you see Teeps working towards streets, but so is this guy, Blindfire. Now one kill away from acquiring them. Finds two players over near the tree, unable to get them. But Teep, in the meantime, was able to pick up at least the Hellstorm, but Big Grenade coming in from Miracle stops him just short of the lane. Right, and you know, still with the Hellstorm, it's still effective on this map. You can use it either in the middle hill, or you can use it on uh, the first hill, that raid hill, and we're going to see where they're going to use their streaks and how effective you can use them on this map. But right now, it's Complex and Blindfire staying alive inside the hard point for Curse. Complex is a little more than halfway, now three quarters to his streaks, picks up the kill on the ace, that earns himself the Hellstorm missile, which, you know, that's going to counter out the one from Teepy, but you really want the Lightning Strike moving into this next hard point. Right, the lightning strike on the middle hard point is really hard the, point the best down. streak to have because that tree, man. The damn tree. tree. Nothing you, you can do to get around it. The branches, they are super strong. So Teep now on your screen. Just saw one point near the big rock on the hard point, but it's going to be Ake's clean up house there. Teep following through. He's going to take control of the hard point for complexity. And, you know, it could get a little hectic inside this hardpoint when you're trying to pre predict the spawn points. What are the key locations you want to lock down to try to force your the enemy team in the worst spawn possible? You know, the, the spawns you really want on this map are, uh, you really want like the open ramp spawn and you really want to control the ring with the ARs. It's, at the beginning, you know, you thought subs really controlled this middle ring hardpoint, but as you can see with uh, the way Clayster's playing this right now, it's really the assault rifles who control this middle hill. Yeah, just controlling the kitchen to zigzag lean, letting the submachine guns take control of the pillars. And, you know, he's going to pick up miracles there. Uh, Aix, it looked like Clayster wanted to get those capture points, but Aix stole it from him. And as a result, Clayster won't earn any score sheets here. But Complex begins the rotation for Curse here. Has a health stream, so if he wants to clear out this hard point, but TP has one as well if he wants to respond. Yeah, and, uh, you know, we're going to see if uh, Teep's going to try and bait Complex into using his health stream missile first. Where is Teep's going to use this <laughs> person? It looks like somebody's been flying off the map. Yeah, that was Miracles jumping off the side of the map, but was able to pick up the kill on a TP. But now, Curse, they got some work to do. Here comes the Hellstorm from TP. That's going to force Com Curse to get off of the hard point, but they're still in the air where they could effectively fight this. And here comes Complex, picks up one back inside the hard point. They're currently down by around 40 points, or uh, 30 points, my fault. So, um, and I think they said they were going to agree to play from 0, zero. Uh, Playing it from 0, zero. that makes it a lot easier on me. I don't have to do any crazy math. So. Yeah. They're only down by 15 points. We'll, we'll play out that game and see what they decided before. Okay, so right now, Curse, they're inside the hard point. 17 seconds remaining. Should be looking for both these teams to rotate over to the kitchen hard point. Twist. He's going to challenge Aix here, but I think he should back up. You really want to try to get the scrap time because it'll give your team the lead. And now Aix is going to challenge the hard point, is able to pick up the kill. Complexity, they're going to retain you know, the lead, and they won the rotation. Yeah, that's a big play for the scrap time, and they get the rotation kills, which are huge too. But you still have Miracles in the back, and he was holding down spawn. A nice play from Clayster to know there was another guy back there, and he knows exactly where they're spawning right now. Yeah, so he's just going to back up Heglish these stairs here as he knows the team they're going to beat challenging from the jungle side of the map. Finds one rotating back, but he's got some help from his teams now. It's going to be eight setting up over near the balcony. But Complexity, they're staying alive inside the hardpoint. It's up to Crim6, though. Here comes all of Curse. Able to take out Miracles. More players in the area. One coming through money. Now you got three players from Curse Gaming. They're going to take over inside the hill. Yeah, you know, Complexity just got to be uh, sure not to feed right now. You know, they're giving Twiz two streaks. And just because, I mean, they really just flooded that hardpoint well. And they got to make sure they get BL Fire on this rotation. All right, so Twiz trying to acquire some more streaks, but he's going to get taken out in the front. 
What did you get? Okay, so just the lightning strike in the hall storm. Still very effective streaks. We'll see when he decides to use some curse. They're gonna get the scrap time, but now it's about the rotation to the garage hard point as curse. They're gonna take the lead here. Oh, blind fire spots one. That's gonna be the anchor player taking him out. Actually, that was Krenzik, so Placer still alive in the area. So this is what the Hellstrom takes out TP, who is inside the, the light indent right there. Clacer is actually the player inside the hard point for complexity. Yeah, you know, they're just gonna they're really gonna play this from the inside out. With BL Fire, they know he's top pool building. They just have to use their ARs to really hold control of the hill and just just win gun battles and just try and stay alive in there. Big kill from Miracles and all of Curse as they're going to take over inside the garage. It's going to challenge inside the RU here, but this is where every single member of Complexity are going to push. Miracles has We're some serious work fight. to do, but he gets taken out. Blindfire now, he's going to be the one providing some cover fire here. Lightning Strike actually being called in by Twiz. Blindfire as he acquires his streak. Twiz, he's overlapping. He regains his Hellstrom Missile. I'm not sure if he didn't, I'm not sure if he got the Lightning Strike again though. Right, now with 20 seconds left, you can't really keep feeding Twiz or BL Fire, so you're going to have to rotate. And you know, this lightning on rotation will be huge. And let's see, he oh, picks up three players with that. And he gets a kill with his AR, you know, which is huge. Especially considering he can help them off spawn again. And, you know, it's good that they're wasting their streaks, but... You know, they need to get over near that hard point if they want to win this game. Yeah, but with using those streaks, now they have control of the basketball hard point. Blind Fire is going to unload with this warm streak. Sees them rotating from the pool side. Easy kills for him as he picks up two there. Blind Fire now on an 11 kill streak. Twiz on an 8 kill streak. These guys, they're going off right now for Curse as they take a 50 point lead. Is this where we are going to see Complexity finally lose in Pro Screen? You know, yeah, they just got, the, they have to really make a good push on this hill. They get it back. They still have 37 seconds left to hold right here, you know. So you get a good hold here. There's still a minute 20 left. You can, I believe, they wasted most of their streaks right there. They're using there. the hellstorm here. They're using the hellstorm here, which oh, it gets wow. two guys in the cube. But I mean, oh wow, that was that was actually huge. I really didn't even think he was gonna pick up kills right there. Yeah, you know, usually players get inside the basketball rim. They have full cover for many score streaks, but it looks like Curse they found a way to get the hellstorm inside the ballroom, so that took Complexity off of the hard point. They got a challenge for the scrap every time, and I think that just did it, Mr. X Complexity. Yeah, sure yeah. They, lost, well, they lose Pro Scrims against Curse. 5-2 will be the final map count, but they're gonna play this one out to the final second. I wanna take a look at our scoreboard, though. Let's see who's shining. So 24 and 27 with 10 defense is complex. That's some great objective work, and of course, you got Blindfire locking it down in the Slayer department, 39 and 22. Yeah, and I mean, that's just huge plays, and you see, complex with those 10 defense, I mean, that's huge. I mean, you don't know how much time that actually accounts for an actual hill time, but I mean, to get 10 defense in a game, I mean, this is considerably close, that's that's huge plays right there. So it looks like, Curse, they are going to be able to reach 250, as congratulations to them. They earn 500 pro points each, as well as, you know, they earn a spot on pro scrims next week if they decide to accept it. Right now, you know, it's really impressive showing out of Curse, you know, new team with new player, Miracles. He's playing a little different role that he played on Impact, but you saw that they do have some chemistry right here. You know, if they play together even more, it could get even better. Yeah, Curse, their shape going to be a very scary team, but in case you missed it, take another look at the final scoreboard here. 42 and 22 for Blindfire. Once again, 10 defense for Complex. I mean, even though he went overall negative, the defense and captures is really what you want to look at for hard point. Right, I mean, he did go overall negative, but with 10 defense, I mean, when you're getting most of your kills on the hill, they're meaningful kills. Mm -hmm. They're not just pointless kills around the map. So you'd rather have those point, those kills that mean something than just regular roaming kills. Of course, well, that's going to wrap it up for tonight's Pro Scream. If you missed any of the previous maps, head over to youtube.com slash official MLG COD. Make sure you sign your team up for the 5,000 series that's going on this Saturday. But you're going to see, mi well, Mr. Rex, are you going to be down here Thursday? I don't know. You don't know yet. There's a, high, there's a good chance that you're going to see Mr. X and myself back this Thursday for some more Pro Scrim action. Make sure you tune in then. All the action kicks off at 7 p.m. Eastern. Also, if you live around the Orlando area, you're looking to attend our Full Sail Invitational event, head over to MajorLeagueGaming.com. Go to the store and get your spectator pass there. It's shaping up to be a very good event. It's looking like Complexity. They might be one of the teams invited. You guys got a crap ton of pro points. Yeah, I think we're we're ahead by, I believe, 20,000 pro points. So uh, I think we're, we're, we'll be okay. We'll uh, probably be there. Well, that's going to wrap things up here at the New York City offices for Major League Gaming. So these night pro scrims, congratulations to Curse for taking that. But I'm Revan. That's Mr. X. We'll see you guys on Thursday.